going to be the last week of work before spring break. It has been the most springy spring, spring, spring couple days. It honestly feels a little bit like crunch time. Hello and welcome back to another vlog. I'm trying something different. It's always fun to, to experiment. Um, we're starting the vlog on a Sunday because, I don't know, just, just felt right. Um, this is going to be the last week of work before spring break. So lots of fun things happening. It honestly feels a little bit like crunch time in a good way, but I wanna get myself prepped and ready to fully take a, a nice break and then basically come back into the height of meeting, IEP meeting season. I've mentioned this a little bit on the vlog, but IEP meetings for me, like the bulk of my IEPs are in the spring because this is when my students are transitioning to kindergarten and or transitional kindergarten. To be able to like transition them in the best, most collaborative way, we hold IEP meetings and sometimes we're fortunate and their IEPs align with their annual or plan review date. Sometimes they don't, so we just have a couple extra meetings, but it is going to be a fun time to just share all the progress my students made. I am going to be doing things this week to prepare for that, but also a big thing for me is to make sure that I am staying balanced. Ooh, I hear the echo. Where did it come from? Because I heard it. I don't like hearing it, so I can't imagine watching. Anyways, we're talking about balance, and I just wanna be very mindful and intentional about making sure that because this is the bulk of those back-to-back -back meetings every Monday plus other times throughout the week. I have a lot of big reports. I have my two AAC evaluations that I'm doing for the very first time that have meetings in April. Like everything is happening in April. Everything, everything, everything. So I just want to make sure I'm making time to rest and take care of me and all the while finding the joy in every moment in those meetings. There's so many beautiful moments to connect with parents in IEP meetings that I want to make sure that I'm, you know, putting forth that effort and, and giving 100% in those meetings. Right now, I am just getting some content things squared away. Tonight is family night, and I love, I love that we have this regular time to get together, play games, play poker with our family. Um, it's a great way to go into the week. Just fun vibes, clowning, all the things. So let's get to the rest of Sunday. Hi, this is Future Marie popping in because I wanted to share something that you're going to see me using throughout the week, but I wanna give you a heads up so you're not like, wait Marie, what are you drinking? What are you doing? I wanna introduce you to Magic Mind because I am going into a week, now again, this is Future Marie, so technically I went into a week of IEP meetings and all kinds of busyness. You're about to see it all unfold. And so it all kind of worked out because I'm partnering with Magic Mind in this video. And they have this productivity elixir, which is essentially a matcha slash citrus shot of goodness. Nootropics to focus, matcha that gives you energy. There's vitamins that help with immunity, which is so perfect right now because I feel like every preschooler I encounter is coughing or sneezing. <laughs> Adaptogens, so it balances out this like boost of energy you get from the matcha, but you don't feel as stressed. Even the first day I took it on Monday, I had five IEP meetings. I was able to focus in all five of those. Usually by like meeting three, I'm done, I'm gone. Seriously, I was so impressed. And I haven't wanted all of my coffee. Like I've been drinking this before coffee and I'll drink about half a cup more of coffee, but I haven't wanted as much and I'm kind of excited because this is such a good and healthy way to get in that boost of energy from the caffeine, but also supplement with adaptogens, vitamins, like like I said, all the things. It tastes like matcha slash delicious citrusy fruit. Like the taste, even Mark tried some and he was like, that's delicious. <laughs> some days I've been taking it in the morning, some days I've been doing it like kind of when you get need that afternoon push after lunch or something, you need that little boost of energy and also that help focusing, but I love that with the adaptogens, you don't feel that buzzy, kind of jittery caffeine feeling. You're more productive, but less stressed. This contains L-theanine, and it gives you sustainable energy instead of giving you energy 
that lasts for a little bit and then you crash afterwards. It has a natural nootropic. I didn't realize how beneficial nootropics were like to help with procrastination and impulsivity. It has ashwagandha in it to help with that stress relief. And then lion's mane and cordyceps mushroom, which also help with that focus. But I love that this comes in a delicious jam-packed shot that I can take again in the morning, in the middle of the day. So I'm popping the link down below. And if in the next 10 days from the date that this video gets posted, you use the code MissM20, you get 56% off your first subscription to Magic Mind. But again, that's only for the next 10 days. So I really encourage you to do it, try it. And thank you to Magic Mind for partnering up. It's been so fun. All right, carry on. We're heading out for family, family night, poker night, and it's St. Patrick's Day today, so it's like a St. Patrick's Day theme. So here's my outfit. It doesn't, it's not an outfit I'd wear every day. I found these green chucks on sale last year at Kohl's and rarely get a chance to wear them, so that's fun. <laughs> stations like right above my steering wheel. It's a nice little stand. Um, it is so bright outside and beautiful and like the most gorgeous spring day. So I will insert a little clip of me driving in because like as I was driving into this parking lot, the clouds were just like out of control. Blue skies, a little bit of snow on the mountains you can kind of see right here. Just, it's just gorgeous. It's spring. Spring has sprung. I am getting ready to walk into three back-to-back -back IEP meetings. Um, transition season has fully started, so I just wanted to check in, say hi, but we're going to be in some meetings and then head to my other site where my office is. All right, we have made it back. I have an hour till my next and last IEP meeting, but there were some delays <laughs> with this morning's meetings. One, The first one, parent actually no-showed. Um, so then the second one, the second one ended up going a little bit longer than scheduled. So the third one got pushed back. So I didn't end up getting back in here until about 30 minutes ago, which was noon. And quickly ate lunch right now while kind of getting some email things squared away. I've got some visuals I want to print from one of my students from their IEP today, just talking to the parents. I thought, oh, you know, what? I should send home like potty schedule and a core board and things. So I'm getting those things squared away for him. I'm gonna go run up. I printed a core board right now, but just wanted to check in with you and yeah one more IEP to go that one's at 1 30 I don't know how long it's gonna go it may take me till the end of the day and we leave the nice thing is I only need to grab one visual we're teaching here this week so I just need to grab my visual for that um to take to my site tomorrow but I push in or I push into the kitchen center now at that site I don't even have to plan so I'm sorry that we're not planning too much right now. I will show you what I'm gonna do on Thursday with my center. I'm gonna run up, talk to the teachers. I wanna change things around. I wanna do a carpet center and then do the fishing game that I brought in last week, but I wanna bring it to these kids because I did Hungry Caterpillar with them. So you've already kind of seen it, but I'll, I'll try and show you again if they okay me having a carpet center instead of a um, tabletop center. So it just started raining. I'm like getting windy and stormy. And I'm dressed for spring. Like I'm, I'm in mules, y'all. I'm just ready and excited. And I'm letting this go. So right now I'm turning on, sorry for the noise, but I'm turning on my little mini laminator. And we are making some visuals before my next meeting. Let me show you what I'll do when I'm back here on Thursday. Here is the Thursday activity. Um, I love this because it gets us out of the table or off the table. Our fish, it's Melissa and Doug's catch and count fishing game. I have a language board that I made years ago because this is not how I'd want it to look. But it's okay, I'm gonna supplement with my core words board. Um, we have the water, we have the fish in here that are all different. Um, they have different numbers, colors, they have different patterns on them, they're different sizes, so we can work on all those things. Different, big, small, so much fun. And then there's fishing poles, so we'll work on turn taking um, and selecting color options and things. So that's Thursday, so we'll just leave that here on the table, ready to go. And then 
I am also going to bring back my Hungry Caterpillar. This was a hit with some of my kids. So I'm gonna bring that back. I'm also going to bring this guy, um, the Animal Buddies. This is a super duper and actually I have a code. You can get 10% off of this with my code. I'll pop it in the caption. This, there's different foods you can feed the animals. Super easy. I love this for traveling because pack it and head out and I'll, I have all my little pieces in just a little like Tupperware. And so I'll bring that. I do also have a language board. This is a little bit more functional. I have my all done, my more, my yes, no, my like, don't like it. That, that's the plan for the week. Super easy. All right, let's go home. Totally forgot I'm supposed to bring puppets. Thank goodness I had a reminder on my phone that showed up when I got in my car because one of my kids on Wednesday loves puppets. So we're gonna have puppets in speech. Good morning, quick check-in because last night I got home and was so, I'm so shiny right now. I was so tired and um, literally vegged out on the couch, didn't do much. Got a little editing done, not too much. We walked, but it was, it was just a chill night. I didn't really want to vlog. I was just tired. I'm still feeling a little bit tired and I think I'm having like an allergic or not allergic, but allergy thing going because my throat feels kind of itchy and it just with the changing seasons and stuff. But first day of spring is tomorrow and I'm excited about it. Also, look, I want to show you their butterflies uh, came out of their cocoons for this preschool class. And so um, it's just super exciting and fun. So I'll show you the butterflies and then I'm gonna head in there for circle time. The light is so bright right here, but can you see the little butterfly? Just a midday check-in, nothing crazy, but I've been, um, I think I'm like, I understand I don't have a lot of energy today, so I've been keeping it in reserves and like taking things very chill. But um, I have been pulling some students. I actually spent the first part, so we got our afternoon kids in at this point because it's well after lunch. Um, so I pulled two students already. I'll be pulling another one after they come back from outside play and then pushing in for centers. But I do like this new like flexible way of doing things um this morning kitchen was a success i let them choose if they wanted to have a restaurant or if they wanted to do like um a tea party or whatever so we had a restaurant for one center and then a tea party for the next very fun um yeah i don't know it's been it's been chill nothing crazy to report um tonight is improv though which i am feeling excited about but also knowing that i feel kind of tired today i'm like okay just gonna trust that the energy's coming it's coming we're home. Um, this is a new setup. I've never vlogged from this direction. I usually try to use the natural light, so I'll check the light after this, but I think this is actually gonna work, at least for now, because it's pretty light in our, this is our studio space. Um, so behind me is Mark's whole situation, because he works from home throughout the day. Um, so he's got like a whole setup and mics and we've got music stuff and it's fun in here and it's sound treated. So I love filming in here because the sound is top notch. But we're home um, and I, it's improv night. So like we're home, I work out, we make dinner, but I am going to just spend, I'm gonna give myself 15 to 30 minutes to edit a little bit because I will not get to any more editing later tonight. Let's, let's get to that. Yeah, cause then the rest of the night goes by very quickly. So, all right, energy water, got my snacks, we're gonna go. Good morning, look at that sun. This is annoying, I just like, I love the sunlight in the background of footage. So I get super excited about that. So Cal understood the assignment because it has been the most springy spring, spring, spring couple days. Um, I'm wearing my peachy speechy language shirt, which I love so much. I can link it here for you. Today's Wednesday. We're back to the pull out. If you don't remember from last vlog, I'm pulling out now instead of pushing in. My slipper will be pushing in tomorrow um, at this specific site. So I am ready for a fun day. I'm going to get my big therapy bag and head in and um, get cracking. <laughs> Other way. <gasps> oh! 
Ready, set, go! Nom nom nom, eat the banana. Old monkey's gonna eat the carrot. Mmm. Carrot. Ready, set, no, no, no. Okay, no more bubbles. I want flowers, so I'm doing a treat myself day. Got myself decaf lavender latte from a local shop, and now we're gonna go get fresh flowers. Let's go. Flowers are good, groceries are away. We have, oh my gosh, it's already 4.40 and I haven't even finished editing the next vlog. So, here's the plan. Finish editing the next vlog, maybe have a little snack situation while we do that. And then when Mark gets home, we're gonna go on a walk. But I have to get this vlog done before he gets home. Or at least done before we walk. At least done before we walk. Okay, three, two, one, go! We are walking. Dum, 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 dum. But well, we have a destination. I feel like we're in Europe because we're walking to the grocery store. Yeah, this is very European. It's fun. Um, so we're gonna pick up some things I forgot to get for our salad tonight. And uh, cigarettes. And wine. Wednesday night tradition. Just kidding. We're getting cilantro and goat cheese. Don't uh, want to lead you astray. <laughs> Good morning. We've made it to Thursday. Today's plan, I have, my slip intern is actually with me today. So again, on those days, it's it's hard to like check in on the vlog. Um, I will as much as I can, but after that, I do have an in-home session. And then I am gonna go check out my mom's open house, um, which I think will be really fun because if you listen to our podcast or watch our podcast on here, then you know her. I feel a little tired, so I haven't taken like my magic mind, haven't done any coffee, haven't done anything. So probably need to eat and have a little bit of coffee or something to kind of perk up. But um, when my intern gets here, we will head up into the preschool classroom, do all the things. Got a cute spring fit today. Feeling spring, feeling good. Um, all right. What a day. Just made it to my mom's open house and I'm gonna try and get a quick shot of her room. She just opened the door, but kids are coming in. of the last day before spring break feeling. Does that make sense? Um, everybody's like all chipper and happy. And I was thinking, you know, why can't we just be like, let's just pretend every day is the day before spring break, right? Because it's such a fun mentality of like, you're looking forward to something, you're looking forward to rest maybe. I would like to personally make it my personal goal, like the Monday we come back from break to have the same outlook and the same mindset of excitement and enthusiasm you know so just just documenting that here but yeah it's friday i'm at my friday site wearing my play spark all brains are beautiful shirt that i love so much um curled my hair for the first time in like what feels like forever and it's gonna be a good day uh today after work i'm meeting up with my friend angie you may know her if you've seen previous vlogs. Um, one of my best friends since, I don't know, forever. And uh, we're gonna meet up and hang out. She's pregnant right now. Um, she's due in a month. And uh, it's just been so good to like connect and see her and get excited for baby things. And yeah, so, yay. I'm officially on spring break. I'm so happy to say that. Um, I just got to the mall where I'm meeting Angie, but she's actually not going to be here for like another hour. And I kind of want to have just a little, little me time to walk around. I want to pop into anthropology and see if I can find something cute for Angie because she's a moment to be. I just kind of want to get her like a cute, I was thinking like one of these little monogram necklaces um, with the baby's initial. So, uh, yeah, let's go do some fun things like that. We are home. Well, I am home. 
to my girl, um, but what a perfect way to start spring break, getting to spend time with Angie. Um, I said this before her wedding, and now it's before she's about to have her baby. Well, in like five to six weeks, but he's gonna be here before we know it. I cannot wait to meet him, but it's so cool to have just get to go through so many seasons of life together and like have grown as women together. I don't know. It's it's cool when you have those real friends, you know, like like more than friends, like, you know, just family. <laughs> it's just like we don't see each other as often as we would like all the time because we're adults and have things going on and are in relationships and have households and having kids like all of that and it's so cool and jobs <laughs> and um but it's just so cool to be there supporting each other through it but I am gonna end this vlog here uh I you know it's been such a good week again thank you to Magic Mind for partnering with me in this video and making this week especially in terms of the focus I I took that shot in the middle of the day and I think that helped me just power through. Grateful, grateful for that experience. So again, the code MISSM20 saves you 20% on your subscription to Magic Mind. But if you use my link, you actually get an even more special price that then takes 56% off when you use the code MISSM20. So the code plus MISSM20 equals 56% off Magic Mind. Speaking of gratitude and excitement, we're on spring break. So I cannot wait to see you in the next vlog, the spring break vlog very soon. It's gonna be fun. I honestly like don't have any idea what it's gonna be. We're just gonna have a good time together. Maybe some house things, maybe some small business things. Um, I do want to get to creating the next journal so maybe we can start that process together. Um, and yeah, just fun times with Mark and Sasha really and family. So uh, I will see you in that vlog. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful to have you as part of this community and we'll see each other very soon. <laughs> Bye my friends. Say thanks more Say it all the time